downtown Wichita, 1865. Some drama. Somebody's sitting in our seat. We're Matt and Nat, a travel couple based out of Nashville, Tennessee. After having our world turned upside down in 2020, we decided to set out on our biggest adventure yet, to see all 50 states in a year. In our last video, we were in Providence, Rhode Island, where we explored the city by scooter, tried the delicious state drink of coffee milk, and spent the entire afternoon dodging thunderstorms. This week, we're in the Sunflower State. Welcome to Kansas. Kansas. Despite popular stereotypes, there's a whole lot more to Kansas than farmland, cowboys, and the Wizard of Oz. And today we're exploring Wichita to prove that. We're gonna start our day off with breakfast at a local place called Homegrown Wichita that prides itself in locally sourcing all of its ingredients. So let's go get a taste of Kansas. Dive into this homemade strawberry pop tart with sprinkles. Mmm, looks good. Mm. It's kind of like a croissant dough, but not as many layers. The filling is like a fresh strawberry jam. It's not too sweet, but it's balanced out by the sweetness of the icing. And it's got sprinkles, so. I usually like mine toasted, so this is my first ever homemade Pop-Tart. I really like it. It's way different than a Pop-Tart, <laughs> but I like it a lot. I like the flaky crust. Breakfast was so good. I'm so full already. <laughs> yeah, we mistakenly <laughs> ate too much. We're usually just like coffee and pastry people for breakfast, but this, but this just looked way too good. <laughs> and the ingredients were spectacular. You could definitely tell they were quality ingredients. Oh yeah, I got their, they call it Let's Make a Toast, which is a cinnamon swirl French toast with two cage-free eggs and a locally sourced meat, whatever you get. I got bacon. So there was good. nothing like fancy about what I got, but it was so good. I got the croissant French toast because Matt really wanted to try it <laughs> and it was really good. I never thought to have croissant French toast. Now yep. it's going to be a thing. If you're new here to our channel, thank you so much for watching and being here with us. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. We're going to all 50 states this year, so if you want to follow along on the journey, please hit that subscribe button. It doesn't cost you anything, and it really helps out our channel way more than you know. Yep. We put out a new video every week, so please make sure you hit that notification bell so you never miss out on an upload. Now we're going to go experience Wichita like it's 1865 <laughs> at the old Cowtown Museum. While Matt safely drives, I forgot to mention we've got a printable itinerary of the best things to do, see, and eat here in Wichita yep. in 24 hours. So you guys got to check it out. The link is in the description on our blog. Matt does the blog and they're always so well written <laughs> and the photos he does. So y'all go check it out and give him some love. Don't get your hopes up. She's, <gasps> she's hyping it up a lot. No, I'm not. Go check it out. <laughs> You guys don't know how excited I am for this experience right now. <laughs> Everything here is as if you were stepping back into the late 1800s. There's 40 buildings on property on 23 acres. I'm praying that people are dressed up in period costumes because I'm sure they do it on the weekend. And there's also a gunfight. <laughs> That's what we are most excited about. <laughs> yes, and they also have a saloon. Okay, so let's get to it. the 1800s. I guess people weren't as tall as me back then. You look like a giant in here. <laughs> I bet I would have back then too. Look what I found. People in costume. We have to zoom in. So 
Matt and I, our first instinct when we came into the church, we were like, this is good acoustics. I can see why they congregated and sang in here together. Yeah. It's pretty good. Sing something for them. That saved a wretch like me. That's amazing that they did that. They didn't have any sound system. Can you imagine like 50, 75 people in here singing their heart out for Jesus? 39 more buildings to go. <laughs> <gasps> the class is behind us. This isn't exactly regulation length for horseshoes, but I'll let it slide. That calls for chicken dance with the chickens. He liked it. <laughs> He's like, he's one of us. <laughs> We haven't seen all of it yet, but I'm really loving this. I think this is so fun. Oh, pretty cool. Getting to see a little bit of what it was like back in the 1800s. Wouldn't want to go back. It's nice to be here for a day though. <laughs> Absolutely. I like air conditioning a little too much, but man, this is amazing. It's like 40 mini museums. Oh, is it going? At right now we're in downtown cowtown aka downtown wichita 1865. looks poppin <laughs> the ceiling and the pressed metal walls in this building are all original so on the back of the property there's a little farm so we're gonna go and pretend we're farmers to go to the bathroom so yep so let's go Come on. Good job. you wouldn't do well with this would you no i don't think so that one's very shallow honestly though the this bathroom here reminds me of the ones that they had in denali national park in alaska if you haven't watched <laughs> that video check it out right here matt uh had a bear spray incident so check it out it's yeah. really funny ptsd at these things <laughs> minutes to the gunfight so I'm going to get a good spot in the shade. Everybody's making their way over. Yeah. Maybe we'll get to the saloon and get a drink. We're about to watch a gunfight but I have no idea if it's like gonna surprise us when it starts or if they're gonna set it up for us. We don't know, we're in for a surprise. Well, our museum tries to give you a sense, a feeling, an idea of what life was like 150 years ago whenever our town was brand new. Peaches before they're all sold out. <laughs> this rock, give me your money. Just saw my first ever gunfight. <laughs> Super melodramatic. Yes. Loved it. It was a different scenario gunfight than I was expecting. I was thinking like a lot of people shooting up guns. Nope. They might do that on the weekends. It's a weekday. There were a total of two gunshots in our gunfight. <laughs> and one of them, a girl did. So, <laughs> eh. All right, so we got our fix of the wild, wild west over here in Kansas. I think it's time for some lunch. I think we're gonna go say? back to 2021. So we just finished lunch here at Tanya's Soup Kitchen and it was 
awesome. Yeah, it really was. It was exactly what we needed, which was light and refreshing because <laughs> we've been walking around out in this 95 degree <laughs> heat for the past few hours. The last thing I wanted was a heavy yeah. meal. Yeah, I got the Cleopatra salad. They said it was the most popular. It was spinach with tomatoes, cucumbers, and it came with an apricot dressing. And I got the Chef's Club, which was just a standard club, but was amazing really because was. the wheat bread that it was on was awesome. Kind of like breakfast this morning. What we got, there was nothing crazy or unique about the dish itself. It was just the fact that the ingredients were so high quality that they were amazing. They did have some unique dishes if you wanted to branch out though. Another reason why we love this place so much is they have vegan options, vegetarian, gluten-free, and carnivore because <laughs> you guys know us. Now we're gonna go check out a place that is a Wichita tradition. It's been in service since 1937 and was called a national treasure by Alton Brown from the Food Network. Let's go. Would it be a video if I didn't say let's go? <laughs> How can you not be excited to come to a place called the Nifty Nut House? <laughs> They have free samples here, so we're gonna try a lot of stuff, and I'm probably gonna spend way too much money here. Are you in heaven? I'm overwhelmed is what I am. There's so many things I wanna try, <laughs> in the best of ways. <laughs> We got chocolate chip cookie dough bite. Let's do it. Oh man. This is Abby. She's amazing. <laughs> this is um, birthday cake cookie dough bites. How is it? Oh, look at that. Oh, that's really good. What's your favorite thing here? Um, I really like the chocolate chip cookie dough bites. We roast our own nuts, so oh. they're all done in house. That's good to know. Matt's run away. <laughs> I stole Abby away and we'll sea salt it? caramel. Ooh, that's good. And I know you don't like them, so I'd have the whole quarter pound to myself. <laughs> yeah. We got milk chocolate covered gummy bears. Let's do it. I knew you wouldn't like it. <laughs> that's okay. So we got our nifty nut haul. I think we got four things total. It was such a great deal. Oh yeah, we did small portions of these things because we're traveling and- We only have carry-ons. Yeah, but it was like 10 bucks or something like that for all of it. It was awesome. We just got back to our hotel. We're staying at the Home Two Suites, which is in the heart of the Delano District, which is a really cool neighborhood. It's got restaurants and shops. All of it is walkable, which is awesome. So we've had a couple of comments to show you our hotel rooms. So let's go do that. get our art on at the Wichita Art Museum. for this art museum, no. but it exceeded them by far. Yeah. It was really cool. It did, and it is an American art museum. So as our guy told us, if you're coming looking for Chinese artifacts <laughs> yeah. or anything of the sort, you're not gonna find it here. But they have some amazing American art. Georgia O'Keeffe, uh, Chihuly glass exhibit. Oh my gosh, that you can I walk mean, on. It was yeah. fantastic. And a whole lot of other names that <laughs> I'm not cultured enough to know or remember. <laughs> Remembering's the hard part. Remembering for me. is the hard part. When I see them, I'm like, oh, yes, oh. that person, they were a great artist. Now we're gonna go check out another really famous sculpture here in Wichita. <laughs> Thank you. 
So this steel structure behind us is called Keeper of the Plains and is one of the most iconic images here in Wichita. We've heard that the Ring of Fire ceremony is a must see and it's where fire comes out of the stones that surround the sculpture. The ceremony usually happens after sunset, but we have a couple of plans that we might not be able to get out of, <laughs> but we're gonna do our best to come back and see it. doing a dinner in the Old Town District. Cheers. These are cooked to perfection. And if you haven't watched our Delaware video, I'm gonna link it right here for you, okay? Hungry. Wichita, your food game is on point. That's three meals today and none of them have disappointed in the slightest. I got the fajita chicken salad here at River City Brewing and it was actually really good. And I'm not usually a salad guy, but wow. I needed something light today. <laughs> I got the fish and chips, which you definitely can mess up. I've had a lot of bad fish and chips, mm -hmm. but that was so good. The tartar was so good. The french fries were double fried. Mm -hmm. I mean, we wish we could hang out here in the Old Town District a little bit longer because it looks really cool, but we've got another activity that we're running late to, so let's get to it. We just want to take a quick second and thank all of these amazing people for your support. You help us upgrade equipment and make these videos even better, so thank you guys so much. If you're interested in supporting our channel and becoming a patron, please check out the Patreon link down in the description. So after over a decade without a minor league baseball team, Wichita baseball is back with the Wichita wind surge. If you didn't notice, I changed hats because we're here to cheer them on tonight. Is it even summer without a baseball game? I don't think so. <laughs> No idea where we're sitting. The lady at the <laughs> ticket counter picked them for us. We said whatever you recommend. So I think they're pretty decent seats. I'm though, excited. From the looks of it. So some drama. Somebody's sitting in our seat. So this gentleman here is gonna kick him out. Nice and melty. <laughs> I literally thought they were throwing uh, Colgate down to the crowd. <laughs> Our kind neighbor just gave me an ice cream sandwich she called. Yay! Guys, I have missed gatherings like this. This is amazing. <laughs> this is about to be messy. DJ Bird! I could have had him in the freezer for a little bit. <laughs> Ladies MVP right here. Guys, we had so much fun. It has been years since we've been to a baseball game. It's literally years. And everybody was so nice. We made so many friends and we felt like locals. But just like that, our time here in Wichita has come to an end. Yeah. We have truly enjoyed ourselves. The people have been amazing. The food has been amazing. The sights have been amazing. We can really see why they call it the heart of the country. We will see you guys next week in state number 29. Crazy.